Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes. Welcome to my channel. First time passing through, you're welcome to hit the thumbs up. You're welcome to subscribe. You're welcome to share. You're welcome to criticise me. You're welcome to embrace me. I'll take it all on the chin. Yeah, but sometimes I do try. I do, um, I do defend myself when I feel I need to. But anyway, um, I just wanted to talk about this guy it happened in Jamaica but it could have just as well happened anywhere else people are doing some silly things just to make YouTube channels or just to get subscribers or just to keep their subscribers this particular situation what's her name um, her name is Sashi Gooden she tells her her boyfriend well they're common in law they're living together they've been together for 10 years they've got three children one nine one six and one one year old she goes into him now she's got it all on youtube all the camera set up and tells her her man that she's got hiv and she's probably passed it on to him the man faints he just drops now he's 34. He could have just as well had a heart attack. If she had a heart attack, would that have been funny? Would it have still been something she could post on YouTube? I'm not saying that you can't do things and have pranks um, to get a reaction. But how do you know that that wasn't a different situation? Him just box her down or him get a gun or... Anything can happen. We have a program in the UK called You've Been Framed. And you're given £250 if you can show them something that's funny. It's usually an accident. And these people are sending in video clips of their children falling off of bikes, falling out of a tree, toppling over, slipping on the floor, banging their heads. And some of these are contrived just to get 250 quid, just to make a video clip. And all I'm saying is that it can have serious repercussions if things go wrong. We have to be sensible in these things. You have to think about the worst case scenario. Find in your clips, but you have to kind of think, well, supposing this happens or supposing that happens, am I going to be prepared to accept the consequences? Because anything can happen in situations like that. Yeah, we can all have fun and they make good YouTube videos. People love drama. People love to see all the, the sensationalism. They love it. They don't want to see little boring, boring um, documentary or education stuff. A lot of people don't want to see that stuff. The stuff that gets all the... Um, subscribers and they get all the views it's usually light-hearted stuff and pranks and so it encourages people to prank but when a prank goes wrong peeps it's not going to be funny you have to really think about it this was a reported in the star the 16th that's what three days ago in the Jamaican Star, but I saw it in the St. Lucia News because um, that popped up on my on my um, phone for some reason. But all I'm saying is, yeah, it's fine to prank, but just be careful. It's just not worth it. Sometimes he was he he fainted. He could have fainted and knocked his head on the in the edge of a table. He could have fainted and had a heart attack. He could have dropped and had brain damage. He could have dropped and hurt his back and be permanently crippled. You just don't know what's going to happen when you prank people. So all I'm saying is just be careful. Have a safe and wonderful season, festive time. Try not to do anything um, too untoward and try to think of the safest outcome. Think of the worst case scenario first, and if you're okay with that, just go with it. That's all I'm saying. Peace and love. Bye-bye.